Welcome to Ace Designs 1 and 7, and today is going to be an After Effects tutorial on Wednesday's animation, you know, so guys, I hope that you do enjoy this, you know, I'm actually going out of my way today to make this tutorial, because I'm, I'm actually really fucking pissed today, um, massive, I don't have like any anger management problems or anything like that, it's just that, you know, those times of the days where you just feel really agitated and you just don't want any shit to happen to you, so, you know, this is one of the times of the days for me, but, you know, I should be able to get through this tutorial just fine. So, yes, let's go. Okay, so this is the um, tutorial that I'll be doing for these guys. So it's going to be morphing from regular to bold text. And I really do hope that you better enjoy this tutorial. So, yeah, it's really simple. But, you know, there are some couple of steps to do for this tutorial. So it isn't, you know, straight away it's going to happen. So, yeah, let's just go straight into it. So I'm going to go to File composite and just go to composition new composition and make the composition name morph text and i'm just going to make the width 1920 by 1080p hdtv with 1080p duration 30 seconds frame rate 24 frame rate it's pretty important just keep it at 24 right click go to new new solid change the solid color to 3c b 8 f f press ok press ok on that right click and do new new text I'm going to type in bold on our keyboard. Okay, so we're going to make sure that this is on regular. We're going to resize it by pressing the anchor port, holding shift. Do it at a size that you're comfortable with. Okay, sweet. I'm going to align this on our document by going to window align. Once your lines up, second and fifth icon like we do in Photoshop. Okay, so now we're just going to press control C on our keyboard, press control V, right click, do rename regular. And then press Ctrl C, Ctrl V again. Right click and do bold. Turn this layer off. We're going to go to our regular text, make sure it's regular, and then go to our bold text and put it on black. Okay, sweet. So now we're going to go one second and six milliseconds into the thing by pressing the little timer on the bottom. One six. This is going to be 24 frames exactly, or 30 frames actually. And then we're going to go to our. Um, Bold and regular, select them both by long shift, drag it down until it is roughly on our you know, timeline indicator. Okay, and then press our bottom tech, bottom layer. You can press Control Shift D, but because I'm recording, it'll pop up a little thing where I can draw on the screen, you know, where I can draw, you know, squares and everything like that. So all you have to do is just drag this all the way down to this. But pressing Control Shift D, this is a shortcut, so these guys just press Control Shift D on the keyboard. Okay, sweet. So now we have something like this. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to right click on our regular um, layer and just go to create shapes from text and then go to the bold create shapes from text. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to press UU on our keyboard. And we are just going to drag this up way up like this. Okay, so you guys can see what you're doing. So press B. So you're just going to hit the stopwatches for all the paths. So once you see path, just click the stopwatch in front of it. And that's for all the texts. So you guys might not be doing bold as the text. So just press path. And you should have... around that many I'm just seeing that I have all the paths right sweet but just double check that you have all the paths because if you don't your animation's not going to come out correctly all right so then go to our bold outlines and go back to our regular outlines press U on the keyboard so you should have around seven or eight paths if you're using bold and then press U on our keyboard for bold outlines or UU and then go back to our path press Control C on the first path okay so we're gonna go into two seconds and 12 milliseconds in. so press on the little stopwatch and go to two seconds and 12 milliseconds it's going to be 60 frames exactly then go to our first path and press Control v make sure that you copy the first thing so again then go to our second path off the bold and then press Control v there so these guys will just have to copy me for what i'm doing you can double double check if you don't think you did it correctly Just pay attention to what you're doing and you should be fine. If 
for the L. And then for the RD. Okay, sweet. So we've done all the keyframes for that. And just press Control S on our keyboard to save this quickly. Just because of, you know, if your computer shuts down, you know, it's a good way to save it just, to, just as a backup. So now we have our text really morphing into this. But as you can see, the animation isn't going how we want it to go. So we're going to change this up by adding some important keyframes. So to do this, what we are going to do is just go back to our second position. Go to our, and click on regular outlines on the first path. Then click on this anchor point for the B, and we are going to initialize that as the first anchor point. So we're going to go to click on that anchor point, then go to layer, mask and shape, and then set it as first vertex, and then go back here, and then click here, and then go to effect, layer, shape, set first vertex. And then what that's going to do is, because of these two I already set as our first vertexes, it should give that smooth transition for the B. So for the O, it's already going as sweet as we can, so that's brilliant because of O, that would be a pain in the ass if it didn't. So for the L, it's pretty simple, there's only one gonna, gonna be one anchor point to set as the first vertex. So click on the L, make sure that you're on the second anchor point position, and click on this anchor point. Then go to layer, mask and shape, and then go to set vertex. And then go back to our first position, and then go to this one, and then go to layer, mask, set vertex. And then our L should have that smooth transition. Okay, for the D, it's pretty easy. So go to up to this vertex, and go to layer, mask, set verte first vertex, and then go back again, and then go to this vertex, and then go to layer, mask, set first vertex. Okay guys, so we have that vertex. This vertex isn't going so nicely, so we're gonna go to layer, mask shape, set first vertex. And then go down here, and then go to this vertex, and go to layer, mask, set first vertex. And then we have that vertex going on. So as these guys can see, there's this vertex that is screwing up the D's transformation. To do that, we're just going to click on that vertex, and then go to first position, and then go to layer, mask, set first vertex, and then go down to here, and then go to layer mask and then go to click on this bottom one and then go to layer mask shape set first vertex and that should have the d going a smooth transition so guys it's just really picking the right anchor points for um then to transition if you're using a different um text just let me know in the comment section below um you know what text you are using and then i should be able to help you from on there but if I'm not, I'm really sorry about that, you know, bold, just use bold for now, repeat it a couple of times all these steps, and then you should be able to do the effect really easily. So we have our transition going on really nicely, so we're just going to preview that really nicely, sweet. So as you guys can see, it's very plain, so we're going to add some effects to the transition. So to do this, what we are going to do is we are going to go, to, I'm going to select all these, and then press F9 on We're going to right click and do easy ease. Shit. First, we're just going to press F9 on our keyboard. So, how are we go How am I going to do that? It's a fucking shortcut on my screen. Uh, I'll just, I'll stop the recording, guys. And then once I press F9, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, we are back and I've pressed F9 on my fucking keyboard. That really pisses me off. So, um, yeah. I'll try to change shortcuts after this tutorial. So once you have pressed F9, your keys will look like this. And then we're going to press our graph editor. And you know, our keyframe animation will look like it's a big, you know, round oval or half oval. Now to edit all these, what we are going to do is we're just going to click on all the anchor points, hold shift, and we're just going to change it up. So we're just going to drag this one right up. And do this for all of the ones. You'll have to do this with pound six to seven times because of you know there are a couple of keyframes there that you have selected at once to easy ease all them and you know a lot of people do this in their animations so i thought that i might was teach you how to do this guys because of these guys are a part of my crew and my crew needs to know how to do the best of the best 
So there you go guys, once you have easy eased all these, you know, you should have this. Now what you can do is turn off the front layer, because you don't need that anymore. And you basically have your animation on. So, you know, as, as you could see before, it just went straight away. The animation happened more well, now. It's going to go fast and then slow as we can select all these again. And you then go to our graph editor. Basically, what we have done is we made, you know, go really fast to the peak and then go slow out. So that's really nice. If you want to do it the opposite way, you can do it slow and then fast out. You know what I mean, guys? Right, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go and add a drop of shadow. So I'm just going to see what did I add it to. Alright, I added it to this one. Alright, so we're going to go to our effects and presets, and then we're just going to type in drop shadow, and drag, click and drag this onto our regular outlines. Okay, so we are going to go, you know, 2 seconds and 12 seconds in. Go to the distance and change this to like 36. Or, that's a bit too much, let's do 26 for now. And we're going to keyframe that distance. And then we're going to go to our original distance and change this bound to like 5 or 6. So 5 or 6. And that will automatically change the keyframe. Things. See, it changes up. Okay, so we're going to easy ease those by going to our effects, drop shadow, distance. And we're going to press F9 on our keyboard. Or in my case, I can't press F9. So what am I going to do? Press F9 on your keyboard and your keys will come up like this. Okay, so once you press F9 on your keyboard, your keys will come up like this. Press your graph editor and change it. Press on the first one and then click it and drag it while holding shift. So your your animation will look like this. Click on the first anchor point and then just hold shift and drag it off. So now your shadow will have the same way how your text did. So bam. Okay, sweet. So we have done our animation, and that's how you morph from bold, from regular text to bold text, and you can also do it the reverse way around. So you can go from bold to regular. You can change up this effect in many different ways, guys. So I'm finally finished this tutorial. So you guys better enjoy it. Nah, you guys better not. I hope that you do enjoy the tutorial. If you did, hit that subscribe button and like button with daily graphics design videos coming out for everyone on my channel. So guys, I hope that you do enjoy this video and they'll, tomorrow's tutorial will be on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Oh snap. Wednesday's supposed to be a manipulation tutorial. God dang it. <laughs> I did an animation tutorial for today, guys. Oh, shit. Well, I have to guess I have to um, record a manipulation tutorial for Wednesday. So this video will be on Thursday. And yeah, I guess I'll go record my Wednesday. All right, guys. Hope that you do enjoy this tutorial. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on Friday for a Cinema 40 tutorial. Cinema 40 tutorial will be showing you how you can make a 2D logo or 2D picture or anything into 3D. So it's a highly requested tutorial. A really, really highly requested tutorial. But many of you guys. So you'll be, you'll be showing how to transform your 2D logos into 3D logos. It's going to be really exciting. I do hope that you guys will enjoy that tutorial. And it's really easy to do. So guys, besides then guys, I'll see you guys later and peace. Have a good time, guys. No more, no more